first thing I want to do, I want to show you guys how I secure my mom's. I know people do them differently, but this I learned from a lady I worked with, and it is to me the best way you can do it and the fastest. So first I am going to cut off that excess amount there, try to keep it together. I'm going to take a white pipe cleaner and run it through the back. Uh, sometimes easier said than done. Usually it goes right in, but of course I'm going to have trouble in the video. I'm having trouble right there for some reason. There it is. I got caught in the flower. That was the problem. Okay, so I want to pull it up just a little ways out of there. Well, probably about halfway maybe. And I'm going to tie several knots into this to make it a big knot. It's going to keep, see that's pretty small. So I want to keep doing this. Probably about three of them. like. And I'm going to pull it down not quite all the way. I don't want to pull it tight yet. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Pull all those petals back. Let's see. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and then I'm going to put hot glue under it and around it. Now I'm going to pull it snug. The reason why I'm doing this first is that way it will be completely dry when I'm ready for it. Now I also like to put some on top too. And then you can go like this so it won't show. Otherwise it will stay open and you'll have a big opening unless you're putting a, a trinket or something in front of it. It will show so you want to go like this. But as you can see, it's not going to come apart. And then I attach, I'll show you how I attach this at the very back. So it is secure in the mom. Okay, we're going to put that over there to dry. Now, since it's a garter, we need to attach a garter too. I want to go ahead and get that done. So I'm going to find at the end. I never want them to have to wear this part. So what I will do is put it on the back side. And I'm going to put hot glue and slide this up where it's in the middle, press it down, of course I'm getting hot glue on me, so be careful. Let's see, it's open. I am going to put staples in this too. I want to let this hot glue uh, dry a little bit because I don't want hot glue all over my stapler. I do that all the time and then I have to pick it all off. Otherwise, you won't be able to staple anything. Okay. So, and make sure you're not stapling this side. So, I'm just putting a few staples in it. Way. Make sure I'm not stapling it. It doesn't need a lot. You could probably get away with just stapling it if you want to. And you can see those staples. So at the end, we will add another backer to cover that so those staples don't scratch somebody's arm. I do like to get a few extras on the very end. So it's not good. Make sure you're pulling that out so you're not stapling it to the wrong side. It's all open, so we did a good job. We're going to put this to the side because we don't need it right now. Okay. My next step is 
going to be attaching my backer to this. And I usually do this on my easel, but I, I feel like you guys can see it better if I do it this way. So I want to figure out, and I want it with these football ribbons coming off that way. That's the way I decided I wanted it. So I'll see if we can get you guys to see that. Now you want to make sure you're lining up the circles and that you can get to your holes. So I just took a little paintbrush. You can take a Chanel stem or a pencil or whatever to make sure you've got your holes lined up. Now I'm going to put a couple of staples in this to begin with. Just right there so it is staying in place. Now I can get rid of this. And it's, let's see, it's all open. So now I'm going to put a whole bunch of hot glue in there. to the center section. Now I'm gonna just I'm just gonna press down. And this part I always do on a table. Make sure it's an old table. If it's not an old table, put a piece of cardboard down or something or trash bag or something to protect your table. You don't want to ruin your table. attached it pretty good. Now I'm going to have a few holes. I'm going to have to put a few more bits of hot glue in there. I'm sure I usually do. There, like right there. You can see that. Put just a little bit more in there. It's going to be really difficult to try and get a stapler. I always staple too right in that center section because trying to get around all that stuff. So make sure you put a lot of hot glue in that middle section. Let's see that's I just want to hold it for a minute. Make sure I'm getting it good. Make sure everything is still where I want it. There have been times where I've glued it and found out that one of my braids or ribbons is going off some weird direction because I glued it that way. Here's what the back looks like. And again, I think I've told you all several times, I just save uh, frozen pizza boxes throughout the year and then trace out backers and cut a bunch out. Cut out whatever sizes you need. They're the per perfect uh, width or I don't know what you can call it. That one's a little bit thinner. This white one is just from a paper plate, but it's one of those really cheap, shiny paper plates. And this is the one I'm going to put on the very end just to make it look clean and smooth so no staples touch their skin. Okay. Now I'm going to add some staples. I'm going to turn this upside down. And I want to get in there between both backers and just add some staples to secure it. Uh, it's more difficult down in here where all the braids and stuff are. Kind of find some holes. will be able to see me doing all this. I'll show you where my stapler is. So I was able to get in there a little bit. And I'm going to go on this side. Let's see if I can get in there. And I can. 
many staples as I can. Now, as you can see, I cannot, the middle section, I just cannot get over there. So that's why I put all that extra hot glue. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my flower next. 